Hello and welcome. This afternoon I'm going to introduce you to the new CAT TH414C. My name's Roy Vinden and I'm going to take you on a short walk around this new machine. This is one of a range of seven machines with lift heights from 6 to 17 metres, lift capacities from 3.3 tonnes to 4 tonnes and all fitted with the new CAT 3.4 litre diesel engine. When developing this range of telehandlers, Caterpillar gathered information, voice of the customer, from customers all over the world. This resulted in a design which is intuitive, easy to use and very customer friendly. Customers told us they wanted machines that were reliable, durable and of course fuel efficient in these uh, times of high fuel costs. So what's new on this machine? Well, first of all, the new capped 3.4 litre engine meeting stage 3B emission standards for Europe. There's a new CAT transmission, a power shift transmission now. The power shift transmission has its own oil supply. This is new. We have a new AC unit on the machine and we have a new joystick controller in the cab. So a lot of new things for me to talk about. So let's start this walk round at the business end of the machine. And of course, that's where the work tools are. The work tools fit on this telehandler via the quick coupler which is IT compatible, meaning that a whole range of CAT work tools will fit onto this machine. This quick coupler is actually a manual version, but a hydraulic is available as an option. A feature that we've carried over from our old series of machines is the chain driven boom. Customers of the world over really appreciate the benefits this bring, both in speed, which gives extra production, and the amount of load that the uh, boom can carry at outreach, again making the machine more productive. The boom sections themselves run on wear pads. This enables the booms to smoothly run in and out. Perhaps you can just see them here, two at the top, two at the bottom, either side, top and bottom. These guide the boom in and out and uh, take the loading of the weight that's going in and out. At the front of the machine here we have the stabiliser legs. These are there to give added stability to the machine when lifting heavy weights. But often loads are not that heavy and can be placed quite safely without putting stabiliser legs down. But the machine does need to be level. Here we have the frame levelling cylinder. This enables the operator to bring the machine back to level from 10 degrees either way of centre. That way he can safely place his loads keeping the machine level. It's also very useful for transporting wide loads around a busy construction site that may be uneven. Whilst he's driving, he can be operating the frame level switch and keeping the load level as he's driving around. Let's take a moment just to look at the wheelbase of this machine. Centre to centre, it looks quite long, but this brings real benefits to the customer. It means that as you're driving around, the machine is extremely stable. This is very important when you're carrying heavy weights around an uneven construction site. Although we have a long wheelbase, we don't compromise this turning circle. We have two wheels that turn to 50 degrees, so we get a very good turning circle, very good manoeuvrability, but with this benefit of a long wheelbase, it gives the operator a real feeling of security. So here's the new CAT 3.4 litre diesel engine, 100 horsepower. Fitted with a DPF filter at this point here. This filter needs servicing about every 3,000 hours, but that depends a little bit on load duty. As you can see, the engine is laid out parallel to the chassis. This makes for easy service access. All the daily service touch points are just here. Dipstick for the engine. Dipstick for the transmission. Battery disconnect. Water separator. Radiator header tank. If they're easy to do, they're going to get done. Our new power shift transmission drives directly from the engine via a torque converter. It's four forward, three reverse gears, and drive is then transferred from the transmission across to the middle of the machine via a transfer gearbox, then to the prop shafts and then to the axles. In my introduction, I mentioned that uh, we gathered a lot of voice of the customer data. Well, our customers told us very definitely that we should improve our hydraulic performance at low engine speed. Well, we've done just that. We've fitted a new hydraulic pump, which is torque regulated. This means it's anti-stall. Operators really appreciate this. At low engine speed, they can pull the joystick back in the cab, operate the hydraulics without lugging the engine down. This really improves the performance of the machine. 
Of course, important to any machine is the cooling system, and we've really made sure that ours is up to the job. Here it consists of a square wave radiator core. This means that any fine material that may have come through this outer screen will pass straight through the radiator without clogging it. The radiator itself is made up in sections. At the top is the air-to-air -air after cooling for the engine. Middle section here is for the radiator of the engine. Then we have hydraulic cooling and finally we have transmission cooling here and fuel cooling. Here at the back of the machine we have a service access door to enable the operator to get to the rear of the boom. Here you can see the wear pads and you can see the state or condition of the chains and the hoses. Whilst we're at the back of the machine I just want to take a minute to explain these cylinders here. We call them compensation cylinders and many people get confused as to their purpose. What their purpose is, is to self-level the pallet forks or the bucket that is on the front of the machine. As the boom is lifting, oil is pumped out of these cylinders and into the cylinder at the front, thus keeping the pallet forks or bucket at the position it's been left in. So think of them as pumps, not cylinders. An integral part of any telehandler is the LSI, or Longitudinal Stability Indicator. The first part of this system is the strain gauge which sits on the rear axle. This is measuring the amount of weight left on the rear axle as the operator is progressing his load forward. Situated right behind the cab here are the two tanks. The hydraulic tank at the top here with the sight gauges for the operator to easily see the hydraulic level and lower down here the fuel tank with an easily reachable uh, filler cap. Our customers told us that we'd better get the air conditioning performance better on the C-Series machines. So we've done two things. One is we've moved the condenser from the engine compartment up here to the top of the back of the cab. This means it, mo it works in much cleaner, cooler air, so it's working far more efficiently. Secondly, we improved the heater box underneath the cab to improve the airflow into the cab. These two things combined have greatly improved the efficiency of the AC system. Now let's talk about the cab. First of all, our nice large door with opening top window and a nice large opening to uh, enter the cab. Three points of entry and I'm in. So safely in the seat, put my seat belt on and let's explain the cab. To my left hand I have a bank of switches, to my right hand I have the keypad I have the instrument panel, joystick, and they're all nicely laid out in an ergonomic fashion. Let's first of all talk about the keypad. This does several functions. I can change steering modes by switching these switches here. I can operate the uh, bucket or fork mode function. This slows the rotation of the carriage down when I'm operating with pallet forks make it a safer operation. Finally this switch here changes the machine to safe road operation. It switches the joystick off and switches the machine to front wheel steer only for traveling down the road. To my right is the joystick which controls all the boom functions. This new joystick also controls forward neutral reverse and gear changing. Simply to change gear top button press up to change up, bottom button press and that changes the gears down. The middle rocker is forward neutral and reverse. Then I have two roller switches. The first one in this joystick is operating the carriage rotate. The second one is operating the auxiliary service at the front. The main joystick operation is pull back to lift the boom, push forward to lower the boom, away from me extends the boom, towards me retracts the boom. So that it, and these, these uh, actions are all fully proportional, so the operator has very, very good control of the boom. The machine also has a flow sharing valve, so it means the operator can lift the boom 
and extended at the same time, very, very smoothly and very safely. When we were at the rear of the machine, I showed you the strain gauge on the rear axle, which is part of the LSI system. Now let's watch this in action. I'm going to extend this heavy weight out and just watch the display. You'll see that the lights are coming on in sequence. We're still in the green. I'm getting a, to the amber. Now, red lights come on, beepers come on. Do you notice I'm holding the joystick all the way over? The machine has stopped me going into an unsafe situation. All I can do now is retract the boom and lift. Now I know lifting sounds counterintuitive, but lifting actually brings the load close to the machine, so it's a safe, a safe thing to do. Now the lights have gone off, I can do any operation with the joystick again. So the LSI, Longitudinal Stability Indicator. So there you have it, the new CAT TH414C. New engine, new transmission, new hydraulic pump, new AC. And lots of smaller improvements as well, all exciting our customers. Customers and operators who have already had this machine are finding it performs extremely well. I'm very, very pleased with the performance of it. For more information about the TH414C and all the other CAT telehandlers, please contact your local cat dealer.